Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Paige. And we're here to show how cultural diversity and crafts can combine to be a fun learning tool. Today, Alice and I are going to show you how to make a tribal rain stick. Every culture has customs and traditions unique to its people. A rain stick is a ceremonial musical instrument from South America that was used to invoke the rain spirits. That's because when all is said and done, it makes a sound like, guess what? Rain. Exactly. Traditionally, a rain stick is made from the wood skeleton of a cactus, but ours is a lot simpler to make. And they're not prickly. Included in your kit are cardboard craft tubes, brown craft paper, small pre-cut cardboard circles, small seed beads, larger wooden beads, feathers, jute string, and chenille stems. So Alice, how many rain sticks does this kit make? 24, enough for everyone. Great. And is there anything else that the kids might need? Yes. They'll need a pencil, ruler, scissors, and a broom handle. I'll tell you why in a little bit. Great. Okay, great. Let's get started. Alice, what's the first step? Take the piece of brown craft paper and cut off a three inch strip from the short end. Okay. Then we're going to crinkle that piece of paper into a ball then uncrinkle it and lay it down on the table. We're going to take the two cardboard circles, trace around them and cut those out. We've finished some already and glue those brown circles to the cardboard and allow them to dry. Okay, then what do we do with the large sheet of paper? Crinkle that into a ball. This is the fun part. It is. Then spread that out onto the table and put glue all the way around the edges. You got to make sure that you cover all of the edges with glue. That creates a great texture. It does. Now the next step is to take your cardboard tube, lay it down on the paper, and roll the paper around the tube, pressing firmly so that that glue adheres tightly, and allow that to dry. Now you take three chenille stems and twist the ends together to make one long chenille stem. Okay. And now we're going to twist it. <clears throat> oh, so that's what the broom handle is for. Yes. Take and make a spiral around the broom handle nice and tightly with the chenille stem. Looks easy enough. Yes. And then just slide it off and voila. I'm going to use the one that you made for me earlier. Thank you. Okay. Now we're ready to put this inside of the craft tube. Okay. Slide that chenille stem all the way down in. And if you need to, you could attach a string to one end and pull that string down through so that the chenille stem is through the entire tube. Okay. Now we're going to put a little piece of tape on that to hold it in place. Alice, what's the purpose of this chenille stem? That will make the beads slow down so that they sound a lot more like rain. Oh, cool. Now we're ready to glue on the caps. So apply the glue to the end of the craft tube. I'm going to cheat, Alice. I have a little tape on mine. Okay. And that's good because these ends need to be secure so that none of the beads fall out. So once you get that on there, and allow the glue to dry. Then you're ready to fill the tube with the beads. Oh. And we've pre-divided these beads into little cups to make them easier to get down inside of the tube. Oh, it does sound like rain. Doesn't it? And we're ready to glue on the top cap. Okay. Put glue on the tube again and apply that other disc to the top. And again, if you need tape to hold it down, that's fine too. Okay. Looks good. Now our tube is all put together, and now it's time to decorate. Great. Decorating is easy. I bet this is where you use the big beads. Yes, and the jute and the feathers, too. First take one of the jute strings and wrap it about three or four times around the end of the craft tube. Okay. Tie a knot in that. All right. Now we're ready to string the large wooden beads. So we'll take one, put it onto the cord, and then tie a knot in the very end of the cord 
in order to keep the bead on there. Alice, can I use more than one bead? Sure, any amount is fine. Okay, for now I'll just use one. Okay. Now the next step is that we take the feather Okay. and put a little dab of glue on the end. Thank you. And now we're going to insert that into the hole of the bead right at the end and allow that to dry. Oh, cool. That looks great. So now I do this for the other three dangling ends? Exactly. Okay. And then, after those are finished, voila, we have a finished craft stick. I love it. There you go. Excellent. There's lots of other ways to decorate your rain stick. Yes, there are. In this case, we've used markers to decorate the outside. Very nice. Or you could use some paint, perhaps some stencils with the paint. Nice and bright. In this case, we've used fabric around the outside of our rain stick. You could add suede lacing, different kinds of beads. Anything goes with these. Take a trip to your school library to learn more about tribal customs. There are lots of fun ways to tie this craft into lessons on cultural diversity. Well, thanks, Alice. This was a lot of fun, and I learned a lot, too. For this and other ideas, go to ssww.com and search cultural diversity. Thanks for watching. And happy crafting!